Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Tadwa and in this video we are going to write a program to print first five natural odd numbers. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in an angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in an angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file. Now let us write wide main function curly open brace and here in a declaration section I am going to declare a variable called i of type integer and then I will write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen. Now we will write for loop for i is equal to 1 because here 1 is odd number first odd number so that's the reason I have taken i is equal to 1. So next I will write i is less than or equal to 10 because in between 1 to 10, I will be getting first 5 natural odd numbers. So that is the reason I have written here i is less than or equal to 10. Next put semicolon and here I am going to write i is equal to i plus 2. So for the first time i is 1. So after the second iteration 1 plus 2 will become 3. So that is the next odd number. So this is how I am going to get the odd numbers. So that is the reason I have written i is equal to i plus 2. Next I am going to write print f statement and in a double quotation mark we will write percentage d format specifier end the double quotation mark put comma and print the value of i. Next I am going to write one more print f statement that is going to execute only once and here in a double quotation mark I am going to write backward slash b and then I am going to put full stop and end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and here I will write get ch function and then closing brace. So here you can put uh, one uh, comma over here so uh, before this double quotation mark so that you can separate uh, each odd number so that's the reason we are putting comma before this end, uh, end double quotation mark now I'm going to write curly closing brace for main function now let us write output here we will take an example of this program here it is equated with the value i is equal to 1 so it is going to print for the first time i is equal to 1 and here just because of this comma it is going to print comma and 1 is less than or equal to 10 hence it is true it is going to print 1 again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value by 2 i is equal to i plus 2 i earlier it was 1 so 1 plus 2 it will become 3 so 3 is less than or equal to 10 yes condition is true then it is going to print 3 so that is next odd number and here this comma will be printed as it is again control transfers to a for loop by incrementing the value of i by 2 now so 3 i value is 3 correct so 3 plus 2 it will become 5 5 is less than or equal to 10 yes condition is true then it is going to print the next odd number 5 and it is going to print comma Again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 2. Now i value is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. So it is going to check out this condition. 7 is less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is true. Then it is going to print 7 and put comma. Once again the control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 2. Now i value is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 is less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is true. So once the condition is true, then it is going to print the value of i that is 9. Once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 2. Now i value is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 is less than or equal to 10? No. Condition fails. Once the condition fails, then this particular statement will not get executed. Control comes out of this looping structure and it is going to print backspace b. So after this 9, so there is a comma but just because of this escape sequence backward slash b that removes the backspace or you can say that just removes this comma and put full stop this full stop over here so it will be full stop now let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler to save your time and let us run this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error and now I am going to press enter. Let us run this program by pressing 
control F9. Here you can see it is printing the first five natural odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and after that you can see full stop. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.